India successfully test fired the Agni 5 missile. It's a nuclear boost for our country. You may have seen news headlines around it in the past few hours. But today we will discuss two specific points. One, what is so special about this test flight when Agni 5 missile has been tested earlier as well? And point number two, where does this place India on the global stage? The country first deployed the Agni 1 to Agni 4 missiles with range of about 700 kilometers to begin with to 3,500 kilometers. Then came the Agni P missile tests. In June 2021, the DRDO successfully tested Agni P. It is a canisterized missile with a range capability between 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers can be launched from road and rail platform. And that could make it easier for it to be deployed and launched with a quicker pace. By December 2022, a successful flight test of Agni 5 was undertaken off the coast of Odisha. So what is different now? This time on 11th March 2024, India successfully conducted the flight test of the Agni 5 missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, also called the MIRV technology. An MIRV payload involves a single missile carrying four to six nuclear warheads, each programmed to hit a separate target. Only a select group of nations have this MIRV capability, like the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Russia, China, and now India. That is the reason that Prime Minister Narendra Modi also decided to come forth and mention and also congratulate the DRDO scientists. So the big issue is then, what is the significance of the Agni-5 missile test flight successful launch? Let me explain. This mission is being called Mission Devyastra. India is bolstering its nuclear deterrent strategy, especially against potential threats from the eastern frontiers like China. You guessed it right. Fact at this, if required, Agni-5 and the one that has been launched recently can cover almost the entire Asian region in its striking range. You heard that correct, the entire Asian region and possibly parts of Europe as well, as some reports suggest, can be in the striking range. It surpasses any previous missile range in India's arsenal with a range of about 5,000 kilometers. India had announced the development of Agni-5 in 2007. Dr. Avinash Chandar, the chief architect of the Agni series of ballistic missile systems, developed these in highly restrictive international control regimes. He also went on to head the Defence Research and Development Organisation, the DRDO, and was quoted as saying that the next Agni variant would be multiple warhead missile with the capacity to even 12 warheads if needed. And as we speak, in the latest, Prime Minister Narendra Modi went to Pokhran also and said, I quote him here, Pokhran has an emotional attachment with every Indian. Referring to 11th May 1998, when India successfully conducted three nuclear bomb test explosions at the Indian Army's Pokhran test range, surprising the world, and despite a threat of sanctions by the Western nations. Today, from 1998 to 2024, now Prime Minister Narendra Modi witnessing a demonstration of the indigenous defence capabilities in a tri-service live fire and manoeuvre exercise. These are weapon systems which will add to the Atmanirbhar Bharat to a self-reliant India. But let's be honest, where do our neighbours stand in this? China is definitely ahead with its weapon development, but don't count India out anymore. As for Pakistan on the other side, well, they need to first get a lot back in order within their country. But the fact remains that Pakistan also has been a nation that has attempted to harm India several times and it is a country with nuclear arsenal in its kitty. Therefore, India will always have to be absolutely prepared and if required, be strong enough to strike back in self-defense. I will say that look out for this mission Devyastra. Agni-5 missile is India's newest intercontinental ballistic missile and packs a punch with three-stage solid fuel engine. This is already, we are told, planning heading into Agni-6 and other missile systems as well. So let me tell you a side trivia here. Agni means fire in the Sanskrit language. So aptly used here for this missile symbolizing power, Agni or fire is also one of the five primary elements or Panch Mahabhutas, which is earth, 
air, water, space and fire. Of these names, Prithvi, earth, and Akash, sky or space, are also names given to other missiles developed by the DRDO. So if India now boasts of the ballistic missile arsenal like the Agni series, what about other missile systems? Cruise missiles like Brahmos and Nirbhai provide India with precision strike capabilities for both stationary and mobile threats. Defence missiles such as Akash and Prithvi bolster our air defence network. They can intercept and neutralise the incoming aerial threats. Let's go underwater. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles like K-4 and Sagarika provide India with a potent second strike capability. It can enhance deterrence in the maritime domain. Then there are anti-tank guided missiles like Nag and Helena which are equipping our security forces to ensure battlefield superiority. As I conclude, these are uncertain times for the world. Wars are going on from Israel-Palestine to Ukraine-Russia to Armenia-Azerbaijan and other smaller conflicts across the world. May we never have to use this ammunition. May we always find other ways to find peace in the world and for our country, especially at political and diplomatic level. But not everything is as per India's good intentions. Because with the sort of expansionist mind that our neighbours have, India would do better to be prepared for the worst ahead. Thank you for watching.